seek shelter, seek shelter. The crazy part is that it's sunny over there. Oh, Florida. I almost got hit by lightning. <laughs> and the sky fell down, but it only lasted a minute and a half. And now it's sunny over here, it's still raining over there. But I say screw it, let's go fishing. What is going on everyone? Today, we're here at Snyder Park. I can see fish jumping right behind me, and we have some live bait. I brought Guggen worms, live worms. So let's see what happens. Let's go catch some fish. So while I was out shopping, I found Guggen live scented green googies. They're just regular earthworms, but they have been dyed green. I think they've been dyed green. So let's see what happens. I'm having a problem casting. Or every time I cast, it just goes that way. Okay, so let's give, let's give, no. Let's give this bait a shot. Let's give. Oh, these guys are alive. Well, that thing is definitely moving. So let's see if we have any luck with this. Well, I think we might have lost some of it. There's all this blue stuff in the water. Like blue water in the water, like an additive. I don't know what they put in there. Let's go to this little nook. I know that there's fish that like to hide under these trees. Something might have taken my bait. Hey, we caught a little, what is this? A bluegill? A little sunfish? Oh, it's a little bluegill. Um, here. Ah. Take a look at this little guy. What a pretty little fish. All right, little guy, time for you to go back in. Oh, there you go. All right, Guggenbait, working. There's still a little bit of bait there. That was a nice fish. I think we might have to go put another bait in there. Alright, so we're one for one, and that was uh, probably the biggest bluegill I ever caught. So that's always good. Who would have thought that a company that makes fake worms will also make real worms? It's like they're competing with themselves. But at the end of the day, they also are cornering every aspect of the market. Which that in itself, you have to give him props. All right, let's pick. Uh, let's pick a different side. I know there's bass in this water, largemouth and peacock. I also know that there's gar in this water, and I'm sure a few catfish. This park is so beautiful. This lake is just so nice and the water is so clear. Oh, something has it. Oh, this one's big. What is this? Oh, another bluegill. 
Wow, this one's nicer even. Take a picture. Relax. Look at this fish. Ah. Or not. <laughs> wow, that bluegill was way out there. I think we might have snapped off. There just so happens that there's a beautiful little ledge right here. And the fish always just swim by. That salt water destroyed my reel. Do you guys hear this? So sad about this reel. That one. Oh, a little sunfish. No, it's a bluegill. All right, so <laughs> what I'm gathering so far is if you want to catch some bluegill, this bait is perfect. Because that seems to be all that I'm catching. A hey, little pretty guy. All right, I see ya. Thanks for biting. Oh, he's all confused. And all this with a broken fishing rod and a shaky head. <laughs> so what is that, three I think? The googie baits are working. Something had it. They might have taken my bait. I mean, we can give it one more shot. And if now we're gonna put something new in there. God, the sound of this reel is horrible. Reeling in sucks, but casting is working. Excelsior! Oh, there's a large mouth right there. Come on, buddy. Get it, get it. Oh, what a sad moment. Bobber just flew off. <laughs> All right, so in conclusion, today we learned that this actually works, but a why wouldn't it? It's live bait. If fish are not eating live bait, then there's a major problem in the water. Also, there's some blue liquid here. I have no idea what it is. I don't know if they're doing this for the fish or for the bugs. I don't know why they're doing that. But in conclusion, we had a great day of fishing. Subscribe to the channel, leave your comment, like the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.